Yo, what's good? It's your boy Artest, man. Holding it down. So, I want to give a shout out to Hip Hop Game bloggers, man, because, like, what happened was, um, I've been on Hip Hop Game a lot, and I've been getting feedback, and people have been saying, like, yo, Ron Artest is paying Hip Hop Game to post up songs and all this stuff. Ron Artest is not getting it popping, man. Like, right now, we grinding. It's not like I'm still popping, man. Of course, in the league, in the league, the league treat me good. You know what I mean? But it ain't like it ain't like Ron Artest is popping right now, you know what I mean? Like he's just um you know what I mean, just hitting the surface. Just hitting hitting the surface, you know, of um of this game right now. So I wanna give a shout out to like a lot of the people who comment on hip hop game because like sometimes I get very upset. Because people be commenting and say, our test is weak, his whole click is weak, this and that, clean is over. But for the most part, man, I listen. You know, I listen to the comments because you want to get feedback. And I think for the most part, you can get some honest feedback. Half of, the, half of it will be hate. Half of it will be honesty. Half of it will be people. Ain't loyal. Your niggas ain't lawyers. And everybody saw you. And ain't. Half of it will be people who, um, who just, you know, uh, want to say something good, you know what I mean? But we put up this song with Max B, man, and the joint is called Global Wave, man, the Global Wave, and Max B, I called him, and I was like, yo, Max, man, I might need you to do a song with me, you know what I mean? He's like, yeah, no doubt, Ron, I'm gonna get you wavy, man, I'm gonna get you loopy. So I was lost in the whole slang and everything, but when he came to the crib in Houston, the sun got me wavy, man. Everybody, I, I felt the aura when the sun landed, and I seen the sun in the hotel. I had, I, I seen the aura. It was crazy. Sun had a light. The light just glowed right over him. I'm like, oh shit, that's pause and language. I'm like, oh shit, that's Max B. You see the the light was like neon. It was like neon, and it was orange, and it was green, and it was like it was just all over him. It was like a bubble. It was crazy. It was, just, it was like it was like the aura was crazy. And I tried to touch him, and he was hot. He was wavy, you know. And the water was behind him. It was like a wave was behind him, and all his people was. It was crazy, you know what I mean? Anyway, son came to the crib in Houston. Him, Mr. Fab, and everything. So he did a song with my artist. He was with the Worldwide Warriors, you know, Mr. Q B Ruck, um, Foul Monday, you know, Chalice, you know what I mean? And uh, that song was posted, you know what I mean, on uh, on Hip Hop Game. It's like the first time that we got more hits than like some big artists, you know what I mean? Or right up there. So I got to thank Max B for that. Everybody in the game had somebody. Um, 50 Cent had, you know, R.I.P. He had Jam Master J. He also had, I guess it was Track Masters. And it was a time when he was with Queensbridge and repping Nas and Nature and everybody you know, was repping him. Then he had Eminem and, and, and the Aftermath and Dre, and they helped push him, you know what I mean? Um, being from Queensbridge, you know, Havoc, Mob Deep, Nas, and all that. But we don't really get much help, you know, from those guys. So we never was co-signed, man. So people say, why are you not popping? It's hard. If you're not co-signed, it's going to be hard. That's why every artist out there is trying to sign with somebody, trying to get on with somebody to make it a little bit easier to get it popping. That's why I'm trying to get my artist signed with somebody, and that's why... You know, I could maybe get my label under another label, and then maybe I could be signed with somebody as an artist, and then I have my label where I'm pushing my artist, because I don't want to be pushing myself. That's mad corny, you know what I mean? But anyway, uh, Eminem had Dre. Um, Jay had him big help him out a little bit. Mary J. Blige had the big hit with him, you know, um, jazz on things. And, of course, Nas had, I guess he was with, you know, I guess Juice Crew or whatever you want to call it back in the day. He, he, everybody had the hookup. We never had no hookup. Max B comes along, he's hot. This is the only time that my artist been on a song with somebody that's hot, right? That's hot at the moment. I ain't talking about, I ain't talking about they was hot. I ain't talking about they was hot last year. I'm talking about being hot at the moment. It's the first time that happens, and and, and hopefully it'll work for us, man. Any big artists out there, word up, that want to do songs with my artists. Want to hold it down, represent for us, but don't want to charge us a crazy price just because the boy in the league. I ain't, that ain't even happening, man. Like, I'd rather just holler at my boy Max, you know, holler at a couple other people, you know, who not going to overcharge the kid. You know what I mean? We just trying to, you know, we trying to get it how we going to get it, man. Just because just cause I'm in the league don't mean, you know, I want to spend 20000 50000 for a feature, man. I could be giving that to my kids or I could be giving that to my artists. I could be doing other things, spending no 50000 for a feature, man. Especially, 
You know, if you ain't getting 50000 from somebody else, I ain't stupid, man. Dudes be trying to get me, yo. If you can throw the money in your face, man. But, um, yo, stop being, stop being like that with the price, man. You know, ho ho hold it down with the price. Give us some good prices so we can get it pop. Stop monopolizing the game. Anyway, Max B came to the crib. And then I did the song with Max B. The drink coming soon. It's crazy. My man Big Cap is on the song. You already know the Wharton. One of the best DJs in NY. Respect Big Cap. Uh, I got um, Mr. Fab holding it down for the West Coast. Um, he's in it. Um, Mike Beck holding it down for Miami. You know, one of the few holding it down for Miami. He's on the song. Of course, Max B. Of course, Ron Artes holding down and wavy. I already told you earlier the aura was crazy. The whole wave, I saw the water behind Max. It was crazy. The whole wave, I was so scared. I'm like, yo, what is this wave coming off the airplane? I'm trying to pick him up, but the, but the waves coming into the car. You know what I mean? I had to order a bigger truck just to fit the whole aura of Max B. It was crazy. But you know what I mean? Shout out to Max. Look out for that song. I want to thank all the haters for just paying attention to me. You know what I mean? I got to thank you. And keep paying attention. Just give me a chance to shine. Give me give my artist a chance to shine. You know what I mean? We're going to get it popping. Shout out to the wave, man. That's what this blog is about. This blog is about Max B right now, man. We're going to holler back. Holler back at your boy, man.